Hello, hello, and welcome. It's Bill Skolodowski, and it's What's New Wednesday. And today, three iPhone typing hacks. Two of them are brand new. One of them, not so much. But if you do some typing on your iPhone, they're all going to be super helpful. So thanks for joining us. We're going to be quick today, or at least we're going to try to be. And if you hear some some noise coming from out back there, uh, actually out front, uh, they've picked this week to take up the 40-year-old River Rock pebbles in front of our condo. And they have this little machine. It's almost like if you ever watch a hockey game, the Zamboni machine that comes out between the periods in hockey to smooth out the... It's like a miniature version of that. And it chops up and scoops up the River Rock. And it's as loud as a space shuttle taking off. So I hope that... I think they're done for the day. So, But if you hear some noise outside, don't worry. It's just scooping up rocks. All right, so uh, welcome, and uh, this is What's New Wednesday. My name is Bill Skladowski. I am a, a teacher for all things tech, especially iPhones and iPads. And uh, if this is your first time joining us, well, I really do appreciate it. Feel free to share this with friends and colleagues uh, every Wednesday and every Friday on iPhone Friday. We do a little bit of helping you to make your high-tech life easier. Uh, tips and tricks for iPhones and iPads. Friday is a little bit more of a in-depth teaching kind of a thing, but today on What's New Wednesday, some things you might not have known about your phone. As always, uh, feel free to give this a, a thumbs up, share it with friends, and uh, all of that. So let's dig right in, shall we? So as I was talking about, three different ways that you can speed up typing. And uh, to do that, let's jump over, let's jump over to our uh, phone. Here we are. And so... I'm going to use the Notes app on the phone, but it doesn't matter. All of these tricks, <laughs> I hear them digging out front. I hope you got it. All of these tricks work in anything that you might type into your iPhone. So if you're typing a new email or a text message or a note or a reminder or an anything, it doesn't matter. The typing tricks that you're going to learn today work in anything. Okay? So I'm just going to use the Notes app the yellow notes app there. And I even started a new note for what's new Wednesday. So first trick, and that is the, um, the, the automatic inserting of a period at the end of a sentence. And if you've ever looked at your iPhone, you know, keyboard, you'll see there's no period there. And that can kind of make it a pain. I mean, if you, yes, if you tap on the little one, two, three down in the bottom corner there, you get all the you know, punctuation marks and the numbers and everything like that. Now, on the other hand, with trick number one, if all you did was to hit the space bar twice at the end of your sentence, watch what happens. I'm going to go, this is a sentence. Okay. And all I'm going to do is tap on the space bar at the bottom twice. One, two. See what it did there? It automatically put the period at the end of the sentence and it jumped over one space so you can start typing the next sentence. Pretty cool. Now, that one you probably knew about because that's not the new hack of the three ones. But if you didn't know it, hey, congratulations and you're welcome. Uh, so anytime you're typing a sentence, okay, another cool idea. Double tap space, one, two, insert the period, moves ahead. Awesome, right? All right. So again, you probably knew that one. But let's move over now to the more fun and newer ones, because these are just some things that have come along uh, relatively recently. And the first one I want to tell you about, again, like we said, if you tap on the one, two, three down there in the lower left corner of the screen, you'll get all the punctuation and the, you know, the parentheses, the dollar sign, the ampersand, the at, all that stuff, right? And normally, if you were typing, you know, uh, let's see, I need a dollar sign. All right. And then if I choose to, if I hit the one, two, three, I can then hit the dollar sign. And then if I hit the space bar, it comes back to the letters. So it, it's a little clunky, right? It's a little clunky. Now, it just so happened I, when I wrote, I need a dollar sign, that it automatically suggested a dollar sign up at the top there. So if I said 
do that again. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I need a dollar sign period. See, look at the auto suggest, the three words across the top of the keyboard. It automatically suggested the dollar sign, so I could have tapped on that. Now that one looks a little weird and it's a little, well, never mind. You can't count on that happening all the time, especially with punctuation or parentheses or things like that. So if you wanted to put something in parentheses, uh, let's say put something uh, in parentheses. Now, I would normally have to tap on the one, two, three, tap on the parentheses, tap back on the ABC like this, tap on the one, two, three, tap on the parentheses, tap on the ABC. Oop, I forgot my period. Tap on the ABC, tap on the period. Tap. Lots of typing there and lots of things that could change, right? So on the other hand, here's the trick. I'm going to back up over that. So the next thing I want to do is put something in parentheses here. If all I do is press and remember we talked about a few weeks ago, we talked about the wonders of the long press where all you have to do is lay your finger on something and kind of let it sit there for a few seconds. It, it's literally two seconds. That works with this one, two, three on the keyboard down in the corner. So if I lay my finger on it, it changes. And now without, and here's the trick, don't pick up your finger. Slide your finger over to the symbol that you want, in this case, the parentheses, and then let go. And it automatically inserts that special character or that number and goes back to the, uh, to the keyboard like this, like this. And again, now I want to do it at the end, tap and hold, slide my finger out to the end and then let go. And it puts that automatic closing parentheses on the end of it. And again, that works with anything. So if I wanted to do numbers or dollar signs or something like that, press, hold, slide out to dollar signs or to ampersand or to whatever and let go. And then it goes back to the keyboard. All right, so super helpful when you're trying to put in just a quick non-alphabet character. Is that a real, is that a term? I don't know, it might be. So again, remember, all I'm doing is lay my finger while it's changed over, I can change some numbers. Now, of course I have to, if I'm doing multiple numbers, if I had to type a phone number or something like that, I would probably tap on the numbers and then tap, you know, the phone number into it because it's more than one thing. But if it's just one thing, one number, one character, one special character, all right, then all I have to do is tap, hold, slide out, let go, and it would automatically insert it there. There you go. Now, last but not least, uh, number three, and that is using the keyboard area of the iPhone, works with your iPad too, as a mouse, as a trackpad, okay? And you know, mouse you hold in your hand and you slide around on a mouse or pad or something like that. Trackpad is more like you put your finger right on something and you slide. If you have a laptop, that's a trackpad in the center at, at the bottom where you put your finger on it and you use that instead of a mouse to move, the, uh, to move the cursor around and to tap on things, click on things, that's a trackpad, okay? so. With that, let's. I'm. I'm going to go back. I made a. I made a bigger note. I made a, a a bigger note that I can test. Here we are. If I'm typing on here, right, and I realize that I need to go back to the first paragraph or change a, a letter or a number or insert something into the first paragraph there, and I'm already several paragraphs down. Well, the problem is in the old days, you used to have to kind of put your finger on and try and find exactly, you know, try and get my finger right at where I needed it to go. And it never seemed, I'm tapping on the screen as I do that. It never seemed to go where I needed it to go, right? So again, this is another one of those tap or press and hold kind of things. And in this one, you actually, I have found that you actually do put a little bit of pressure on on it. So I'm going to put my finger right on the space bar and I'm kind of going to put a little bit of pressure on it. So watch, if I put my finger on the space bar and I press, look at, did you see what happened there? The keyboard, all the letters go blank. They all disappear. I'll show you that again. If I just lay my finger on it and they all change and it makes that little tick, it makes that little hap, it's called a haptic feedback where the phone just kind of 
kind of makes a little tick and you can feel it on your finger. I know it's kind of cool. It's helpful to let you know that the thing you're trying to do has been done. So again, one more time, press there, wait, feel it. And now when I do, again, I'm leaving my finger on, on it. I'm leaving my finger on the space bar. And then when I move it around, look at the cursor on the screen. It moves just like I'm on a trackpad on my laptop. So if I need to go up to the top of the screen and get right in between here, it has, oh, I made that capital. I don't want that capital. Right there, let go. And when I let go, the cursor stays where I put it, and now I can change it to small a instead of capital A, right? So again, one more time. Lay your finger. I know you can't see on, on my screen there because of the bright light. But all I'm doing is literally laying my finger right onto the space bar. Wait a couple of seconds. It makes that kind of ticky feeling and the letter it's pretty obvious because the letters all go blank and then I can move around within the text that I've done and if you can't get to the top well get close and then let go and then put your finger on it again and and then keep going back you, it might take you a couple of moves to get up to the top or to the bottom of a long page of text is what I'm saying okay but either way you can keep doing it and moving it and getting around all you want so there you go so that's Three different typing hacks that make your iPhone typing easier. Number one, the, the old school one. It's not old school. It's not a brand new one. Number one, double tap the space bar to go period, space, start a new sentence. Easy, right? Number two, tap and hold the one, two, three down in the corner and then just slide your finger out to the special character that you need. Oh, and put it up on the top to add that in and then when you take your finger off again it jumps back to the uh to the typing to the regular keyboard to the you know character keyboard and then last but not least number three press and hold the space bar with your finger press and hold everybody goes blank now you can use it as a mouse and use it around to move around on the screen and get where you need to go okay awesome well i hope those were helpful for you let's jump back Hope those were helpful for you today with uh, typing with uh, your iPhone or iPad. Of course, remember, uh, and we've talked about this in the past, but I think we'll probably do a full iPhone Friday lesson on it once, uh, coming soon, that you can always use Siri uh, or, or the microphone, the voice recognition to type into your whatever, whether it's an email or a note or a text message or whatever. You can always just, just I'll give you one brief thing on that if you go back. Oh, let's get rid of that. If you go back, you always, always, always down there at the bottom, way at the bottom, next to the, you know, you got one, two, three, you've got the globe, which gives you all your little emojis and fun stuff like that. But right next to it is the microphone, okay? And if you tap on the microphone, the phone will transcribe what you speak into the phone into real letters, into real text, okay? Sometimes it takes a little getting used to, sometimes it takes a little work to, to figure it out. But it's always there for you, and I think it's it works fabulous. And if you're now the problem, of course, is if you're in a noisy environment or if there's a lot of people talking, you know that's not going to work because it's going to hear everything going on around it. You know, if you got the TV on too loud, probably not going to work. But normally works really well. All right, that's going to do it for today. As always, if you have uh, enjoyed the show, a couple of things I would ask for you to do. Uh, number one, I'm really trying to build up the uh, Facebook page where I stash all of these, my, not my personal page, but kind of the business page. I'll put a link beneath this video, and if you could go over there and just give it a quick like, that'd be awesome, I would appreciate that. As always, if you have questions or comments, or if there's something that you know, you're trying to figure out with your iPhone or iPad, feel free to leave those in the comments below, whether you're watching it here on Facebook, or on YouTube, or on the blog at BillSkladowski.com. Uh, you can put all of those out there, and uh, I read and respond to all of those questions and comments. And if it's a good question, uh, you know, that's something that would be helpful to a lot of people, then we'll do it as one of our videos and help you that way. Uh, last but not least is, uh, remember, we've talked about if you want to get um, an update of all of the videos that have come out in the pri uh, previous week and the free handouts that come with the videos, well, uh, navigate yourself over to the website, BillSkladowski.com. In fact, I just got a new slide of that, so let me show it to you. Here it is. That's what you're going to see on the website for BillSkladowski.com. You see these kids watching the video there on... Uh, kid. <laughs> I say kids. 
Uh, these young people watching the video on the uh, iPad there, click the big click me button right below and it will take you to the page where you, all you got to do is put in your email. You know, we don't ask for any other information or anything like that. And then on the weekend, usually on Sunday, you'll get an email with the recap of the trainings and the videos that have gone out in the prior week. So this Sunday, there'll be an email to remind you, hey, on What's New Wednesday, we talked about typing hacks. And then on Friday, we talked about whatever it is we do on Friday. And there's almost always, I'm gonna say there's always some sort of a handout that goes with the Friday video of you know how to do what we demonstrate on the video. And you get them all for free. Yeah, I mean, I just send them to you. So jump over to uh, BillSkoladowski.com, hit the big click me button at the top of the page there, put in your email, and we will make sure to send you all of those. You'll be on our list and you'll have them sent to you just like that. All right, that's going to do it for uh, today. Appreciate you stopping by. Again, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. Please feel free to share this with the friends. Appreciate that as well. And we'll see you Friday for uh, iPhone Friday right here. Take care. Thanks you. Bye-bye. One last thing for those of you watching here on YouTube, if you don't get to check out the live videos as they appear each week on Facebook with What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday, uh, and you're watching here on YouTube, well, the answer is simple. Just hit the subscribe button down beneath the video here and also hit that bell icon. I think it's in the upper corner of the page here. Subscribe and the bell icon, and then you'll be notified through your YouTube account when the latest video is posted from our What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday video series. Again, subscribe, bell icon. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.